Hello, hello developers, and welcome back to Elixir Pro. In this video, we're gonna be starting a brand new Phoenix application with LiveView. The idea of this video is to use Mix Phoenix Gen Off to create a role-based system and how we can use the system to restrict the access of some pages. Well then, let's start after the intro. So let's start. The first thing that we're going to be doing is creating our project. Let's call it off root of pro script dash dash live for live view. Let's fetch out the dependencies and now get back to you once the dependencies has been downloaded. Be right back. Okay, so we're back. Let's see the intro project. The first thing that we're going to be doing is like initializing our init, our GitHub actually. So git init git add dash dash all git commit initial commit okay and then the first thing you're gonna be doing is like grabbing the phoenix chain off so let's go to our mix file and let me grab it here the phoenix chain off let's paste it here okay that's chain off so let's go mix depths.get then let's run the generator mix phoenix .off accounts user users. Okay. And then let's that do what's what is suggest so mix steps dot get. This is gonna get like the the by crypt and the common in. Then let's have mix ecto dot let's do a reset actually to drop in and do all the migrations. Okay, so now we have Phoenix Chain Off working. The next thing that we're gonna be doing now is like adding the role base to our users module. So let's go to the users. And actually we first need to get put one other dependencies in our project. The next dependencies is ecto.enum. Actually, actually it's called ecto.enum. Let me paste it here. Okay. Actually, I'm following like a tutorial that I found called in, in Link Panda. I'm gonna put the, the link in the description down below. That's basically from all the content from for this is coming from. But I'll try to break down into this video based content. So let's go to the user mod user module. We're gonna import the ecto enum. Then we're gonna define the enum. Name of the enum is gonna call uh, roles enum. The name of the field is gonna call role. And the possible values for our enum are gonna be user and admin. Okay, so that's basically it for our our enum. So let's add a new field in our schema called role. Name of the role is gonna be of the type roles enum. Okay. Then we need to generate a migration. So let's mix ecto chain migration. Let's call add roles to users. And then let's open that migration. Uh, to the migration add roles to user. We're gonna be defining an up and a down. But first, actually, let's add that that model that we just created. So let's go back to the user. And let's grab this thing here. Okay. And let's abs this thing, but we want to use the roles enum. Yep. So let's create an up function. And this up function is going to call the roles enum dot create type. Then we're gonna alter the the uh, users table. Alter table users do end. And basically what you're going to be doing is like adding a new field called role and the, the value of the type of this role, the type of this field is going to call, be called roles enum dot type. And we're going to say that it's, it can be new. Okay. Basically that's what we have for the up. Let's go for the down now. So down. And what we are gonna be doing is like doing this, but instead of create, we're gonna be dropping. So drop type and altering, we actually are gonna be 
removing. Remove the row. So that's what we did to remove this. This row, I think the migration is fine, so we can do like mix ecto dot migrate. Uh, oops, I need to like drop the the test because I was just trying to 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 record this video. Oh, we need to like compile the test file. So I'll be right back when this is compiled. User does not exist, so I think I did something wrong here. Yeah, I did. It's author table users, not user. So it's users, and I think now we can run the migration. Yep, it worked. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna be doing is like creating a way to register admin. So let's go to the accounts module. Let's go, where is the red? Actually, let's look for register yeah, user. That's exactly what I want. And let's create at the bottom. No, it's actually let's create up there. Let's register a user. Like, okay, ZT. Let's create like here in the bottom. The register is going to be like register admin, and we're going to be passing to the admin registration chain set. So let's go to the user. Let's grab the registration chain set. Let's put like an admin registration chain set. Okay, and basically like this is gonna pipe through the registration chain set. Okay, passing the ATTRS. But we are also gonna be oops, we need to pipe this thing. We're gonna be like put change on the row, and we're gonna be passing the admin value. So that's basically everything that we need to do for whoops for the admin registration chain set. So let's go back to the accounts and actually let's create a way to test the so this is the user regis, register user. Let's create a register admin. Uh, whoops, what is it here? Register admin. Actually, let's grab the first test here. Uh, it's an error. I want like a valid one. Okay, let's create our. I think this one is fine. So let's grab this thing. Put it here. Register like admin. Admin with hashed password. I think that's fine. It's unique, so this is going to be register admin so the email is binary it's fine we just need to assert that the user dot row equals equals admin i think that's fine let's run just this test to be sure that everything is working fine yep it's working so that's how you test like, how you create an admin the next thing that we're probably going to be doing now is to create the the helpers uh, da -da -da -da. Yes, let's create the helper. So let's go to the live file. And here we're gonna be creating a file called live helpers. Birds.ex. So the module, this is gonna be alf crud web dot uh, live helpers. Do end. And in here we're gonna be we're gonna be doing actually creating these helpers so that we can we have the user token in the socket of every page mount. Okay, so let's create a function here called uh, assign sign defaults. Actually, let's import like Phoenix 
dot live view because we're probably gonna need some functions here and the thing that is gonna be doing we're gonna get this socket and we're gonna put into the socket dot assigns the user token so for that let's go assign new so let's pass this socket we're gonna be passing the current user current user and we're gonna grab that by calling a function that we did not define yet but let's call it the name of the function is gonna be called find current user and actually in the assigned files we're gonna be receiving this session and this socket and we're gonna find this, the current user in the session right because that's what the the what is the Phoenix lines not could not be found. That's actually live view, right? That's why we didn't receive, receive the call to completion for that assign new. So let's create like this function here. I think this one could couldn't be private, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah, it can be private. So let's create it. So let me find current user. We're gonna be receiving this session. Okay, so let's go with and let's say that we're gonna get the user token and and let's put some guard clauses so when not is new user token and so otherwise it's going to fail and this we're gonna get from this session and this is the we have a key for user token in the session okay and then once we have the user token actually find it do it should be like a comma here. We're gonna so we have like the user token. We have can return the user, and the user can be fetched from the accounts dot get session by token. We can pass the user toker. It should be token. So let's find this thing here. Token and user token and user token. Okay. I think now we're fine. Let's, let's just alias that of crude web dot dot accounts. And actually let's also pattern match that this is a user. And to do that we need to alias the the user module as well. Okay, so now we have it. And if this thing matches, we're just gonna return the user. Okay, I think that's fine. So we need now to create a case. So case socket dot signs dot current user, which is something that we did above. If this thing matches a user, then we're gonna be passing socket. Otherwise, like any other thing, so any other other thing. We then gonna get this socket, right, socket, and we're gonna put flash, it's an error, and like you need to be authenticated to access this page. I think that's fine, and then let's go grab them. What are you doing? You redirect to and it's route. So I think we need to alias the routes as well. So alias, so of crits, ramp dot router, router dot helpers. This is gonna be s routes. Okay, so routes dot, we're gonna be redirect to the user's session path, passing the connection, not the connection or the socket, actually the socket, because it's a live thing. And we're gonna be going to the new function. Okay, I think that's it. For live helpers, just forgot an S here, so okay. What we need now is to put this con this content of this file into all of our uh, live view importance. So let's go put it into the underscore web file for our project. So this will be like alf role scrud web. This thing here, we are right here in live view. So we can just import alf crud web dot live helpers. That's basically everything that we need right now. And the next thing that we are gonna be using 
Uh, actually, let's put, let's just tell, let me show you how weak this is gonna be used like in the default mount. So we just need to go to the page live. And here we're gonna reassign the socket so that actually we need a session. So be assigned defaults, we're gonna be getting this session and this socket. And that's basically it now in this page view we have the current user assigns, assigned to the socket. Okay. Um, so let's now create a plug so that we, we can use the role based module that I've talked about. So let's go to the controllers and actually here let's get another folder called plugs. Here let's create another file called ensure with things that we call ensure row plug.ex and basically like the module of create web dot ensure row plug to end. We need basically three functions. The first one is we're gonna call init when we're gonna just get some config and return the config. It's pretty simple. We actually need to import plug.con. Okay, and what is this? And import is this. Wait for it. So we need to define a call function. This call function basically it's a security function where the first Argument is the connection, and then here is arcs. For our case, we're gonna be best that this is roles, okay? And this is going to get the user token from the session because we are now in the plug realm, so we're not in the socket. So get session, and let's oops, right here, get the session. We're gonna pass the connection and look for user token. Okay, so if we have the user token and we can get from the accounts dot get user session with session token, so user token, right? If we have like the user, then we need to pass this into a function called has rule. Okay, this function we have not defined it yet, so let's define it here. That p call has row, right? So we're gonna be receiving a user. So let's match with the user. Receives user, and we're gonna be receiving roles here. And let's say when is list roles. Okay, if this is fine, we're gonna be mm, we're gonna be calling the function has row. Actually, we're gonna be in num dot any. Oops, any passing the rows and the has row function, but this time we're gonna be passing the row and the, the user. Now, actually, you're gonna be passing the user and each of those roles. So we can say that like, we, can, we can pass it like this. Uh, user is not defined. Actually, we need to alias two things. So alias of credit.accounts and the same thing, but for user. User. Okay. And now we do, 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 do unhandle outside how it has been done here. Do, 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 do. Oh, like it should be like this. Now it's working, so we can like the FP. Let's put an inline and name values has role. We are gonna be better match on the user as well, but now the user has a role and if this role and we need to and both of these things should match. If they do match, we're gonna return true. Otherwise if we receive like something else, actually let's say that this is a user but we don't care and another and another thing we should return false. And then the next thing that we're gonna be piping our call method is to a maybe halt. And this thing is gonna receive our connection. I think it's the connection. Yeah, it's the connection. And we, what is this in the function? Oh, we're just gonna receive the roles, forgot about it. So now I just need to define this maybe halt. So def p 
let's go maybe halt and this thing is going to receive actually if it is through and connection we should then return the connection because that's what a plug do right if uh, what this is doing uh, did I yeah I think it's fine because that's what a plug is doing like in the end it's returning a connection otherwise if it is false we're gonna be returning the connection as well but we're gonna be at some point halting this thing right so like this and and okay so we're gonna get the connection we're gonna put some kind of message here so put flash and let me check what the tutorial said for us to do actually we did not import the controller actually that's alias phoenix.controller so that we can put flash on the controller so controller I'll put flash and this will be an error message called an auto rise it okay and then we are gonna be redirecting so controller dot redirect to let's just redirect this slash and then we're gonna halt okay that's basically everything for our ensure ensure road plug so we can finally go to the router and then we can create our pipeline so let's say the name of our first pipeline it's called user do end we're gonna be plugging into let's first alias our module so alias of roseweb dot ensure role plug yep well let's gonna be piping this to ensure role plug and the roles which we are gonna be accepting is called admin and users so any user or admin can access the pipelines that will be we can scope later and the next one let's call it admin um, and this the only thing that we're gonna allow is this admin here okay this go back to the second case where it's not a list and we're gonna it's gonna be returned through or false then we can finally create a new scope it's slash and the scope is going to be sort of rows web as well we're gonna be piping through the browser the require authenticated user but it's going to pipe through our mm, let's create two so yeah tutorial uses two so let get the user and go to live we're going to just slash so user dashboard let's go with the exact, the exact same example from the tutorial dashboard and we're gonna be calling this, I think it's user dashboard live, if I'm not mistaken. So let's do it, I don't know, user dashboard live, and we're gonna be hitting the index function. X function. So let's go to the live, and let's create the user dashboard live.ex dev module dev module so of crud web dot user dashboard live do and let's import it's not import is use of web live view so we have like all those functions we need like to implement two functions called mount and this mount thing if i'm not mistaken it's a tree already passing like params session yes it's params which we are not gonna be using the session which we are gonna be using and the socket so we're gonna do like the thing that we did on the page live so let's grab this thing paste it here and we're just gonna return ok socket because we just put it, everything that we need into the socket and we then create a function called render and the thing is just gonna have the assigns from that socket so assigns and let's create a live view sigil here and let's say just like this is the admin this is the user user dashboard Okay, 
pretty much it what we want to let's go this let's grab all this thing here and create the admin dashboard live.ex let's paste this thing instead of user this is going to be the admin dashboard live and this is the admin okay let's go back to the router and let's actually put in here so this is going to go to the admin but instead of finding finding the user let's pipe through the admin pipeline passing the admin okay i think we can try the application so let's start the application here if nothing is breaking and nothing is breaking what a unexpected thing let's grab this thing here let's create a new host 4000 and let me put this into this part here so let's register okay let's say example uh, example what's respond the password should be huge well then it one two three four five six seven eight nine a b c i think that's fine uh two, 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 row not that's new mm -hmm. oh i think we forgot the defaults there so let's go to the user actually i think i can break this thing and go here let's go to the user so we're here and let's go default user okay so let's go back actually if we refresh this thing maybe should do, do the request yeah it, it's created so it created our user so that's example.com so if we go to the user slash dashboard I guess it should work, but if we go to the admin, it should not. Yep, unauthorized. Unauthorized. Oh, I, I spelled this wrongly, right? <laughs> I don't care. So let's create like this in the seeds. I think we just need to call off crud web dot accounts dot register admin and we just need to pass uh i don't know accounts yeah just pass the attrs and basic so let's delete this and i don't recall which are the uh, the test for it so accounts let's go to the test basically email and password so see it's let's say that email is admin at gmail.com and the password is one two three four five six seven eight nine a b c right i think that's it that's enough so let's go here let's do a mix ecto dot reset Oh, crud web, not crud web. Count crud. One more time. Uh, exact. Reset. Yep, it worked. So now we have that thing. Maybe we need if we. Yeah, that file. That that user does not does not exist anymore. So if you go to admin at gmail.com and go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, we should log in. And we are logging, so we you should like be able to access both of those pages. Let's go to user underscore dashboard. So we should access this thing. Yep. And if we do the same thing and try to access the admin, it should enable us. And da -da -da -da, what is this? Function of Rails for that admin dashboard live on its own. Oh, maybe I forgot to rename that thing. Uh, admin live admin. User dashboard, I think. User dashboard. 
So here, and we go to... Didn't I create an admin dashboard? So, okay, let's grow admin dashboard underscore live dot ex. I thought I have created... Okay, I think I just forgot to save that. Yeah, but you can see here, we have now the admin dashboard. You can go back to the dashboard. If we log out and we try to access the user dashboard, it should not enable me. Yep, so that's everything for this episode. I think I'm gonna do the rest of the tutorial. By the way, this is the tutorial that I'm following. This authentication and authorization with Phoenix Live View. It's a pretty good and pretty well written tutorial from this João Gilberto Balsini Moura. He's Brazilian. I, I have him on LinkedIn these days and well, hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, happy coding. Bye.